Okay, there we have the doors all on. So that's the wardrobe now fully completed. I've also done round the back, as I said, I was going to a shelving unit, hidden away there. Added storage, uh, bedroom this size, obviously. Uh, space is at a premium. Next, I need to start on this top bunk bed. Um, points to consider is firstly this curtain, because it's going to hang over that curtain, and it's that still to be movable. Um, uh, the bed is slightly shorter than the width of this room, which is a bonus, so it will fit. Um, and strength, I've got to make sure it's going to be good and strong, although half of it is standing on top of this wardrobe unit, so that's adding to the strength of it. But what I want to do first is in this wall here, find the noggings, because it is a timber framed wall. So I'm finding the noggings in there, um, also in this wall up to the edge. Um, this one is a brick wall, so that I'll go and plug when needed. Um, so, some heavy timbers, um, back to the workshop and make a framework. So here we have what I'm going to use for the framework. Um, it's 110 by 30, so it's a good solid um, size. Fine, again, so I want it all to match. Um, now, this one a little different to the standard pine bed. Um, apart from the fact I've thickened these from 20 to 30, because it's going to be suspended, is I'm not going to use lats on the bottom. I'm going to put a sheet of ply on the bottom. I now need to make battens to go along in the gaps all round, ready for the ply to go onto it, um, and the ply on the inside measurements. Now, as you can see, at this end here, that is the exact size of the mattress, so this is allowing me the gap that I need for that curtain to run. But the curtain only comes to here. So this is just going to be a gap. So I want to get rid of that. Um, so I'll be closing that up and putting a headboard across the whole lot of this here, in line with the mattress. Um, this will be the entrance point up here where the ladder will be going. Um, <clears throat> also what I'm wanting to do when I finish is put some sort of cover point here, um, about that big, to go up to the ceiling to give him some privacy. So when he's laying in bed watching TV, he's, he's got a little bit of privacy. So the two of them, they'll be sharing the bedroom, they can still have a little bit of their own private time. I'll fasten these together here. This I'll leave off until I get in. Um, because of the way in which it's going to go in, it could fly and play on the joints. Um, so it's better I'll leave that one until afterwards. The other ones I can't, I've got to come through from that back side. So I'll get on with that first, get them fastened together and get them um, battens made to go on there. Right, that's them uh, glued and screwed into place. I haven't pre-drilled the holes um, for the screws, but I haven't um, counter sunk them in too far with the driver either, so it's not splitting the head. It's only soft wood, it doesn't really need all that lot. This one, I'm just lining it up. The one it also done up here. Oh, we go back over. Whenever I'm doing stuff like this, I find um, in many cases 
A scrap of wood is a lot more accurate for your positioning than what a tape measure is. And if that is exactly where I want it to be, put it there, butch it up, it's going to be correct. When it comes to meet that, it's going to meet your flush. Get a tape measure on there and I'm going to make sure I'm pretty accurate to get it as good as that, haven't I? That's what's finished here. Now I need to get across to the work to the bedroom and get it fitted. Okay, that's everything now pepped up. Um, I put the block in there as um, I said I was going to, to fill out that space and also give me a good anchor to the outer wall there.
Okay, it's just about hope I don't come crashing down on it. I'm sure I won't. Here I've just got a fascia board, um, which is going to do that um, blanking panel that I mentioned. Um, also, it just decorates up the bottom of the bed itself. Um, Now what I want to do is in this corner here I want to put a, a block on the inside of it just so that I've got something to fasten everything to um, and at the top there a block. Lucky I've fallen right on a beam there, a choice to act across them. <coughs> so I can throw that straight up into it. Okay, now I'm looking at is um, making the ladder to run up here, getting the electrics in for the TV, um, and that's pretty much it. Get some decorating done. 